We're talking about the release of my brand new ebook called Stop Losing Women, The Ultimate Guide to Dating the Women of Your Dreams. So 10 years ago, uh, I started my first podcast, which was called Stop Losing Women. And I did that show for five years and it spanned over 435 episodes. It was a lot of episodes. And I talked about everything, the ins and outs of dating, relationships, mating, attraction. I uh, interviewed a lot of people and I answered a lot of people's questions on that particular show. And it was very, very popular. And so uh, what happened basically was that I wanted to narrow down my focus more so on introverted men since I am also an introvert. And I found a lot of the people from my audience for that show were also introverted men. So I stopped that show and started the Introvert Dating Success Show. But I have so many, so much knowledge that I put out there in that show that is still very beneficial to men. And so I decided to put some of those podcasts, transcribe them and put it into book form. And so the book itself is like 284 pages long and it's just chock full of helpful advice that's designed to help you stop losing women. Some of the chapters include uh, stop trying to touch her first, um, stop saying I love you so much, uh, one of the chapters is called Stop Being So Available. And a lot of these chapters, I'm going into the ins and outs of the psychology behind these various philosophies and why it is that you need to stop doing these various things in order to attract the women of your dreams. Because the thing is this, I think most guys could actually be legitimately great at dating. Like I think, I, I tell this guys all the time, you as you are right now could actually legitimately get a woman to date him, to be his, to be the girlfriend, all that great stuff. But I think that there are just some minor things and then also some major things that guys don't pay attention to. And in guy world, sometimes sort of things that are okay in guy world do not function at all very well when it comes to trying to deal with women in a relationship. And so if you don't know what those things are, then you're going to keep making those same mistakes. And I don't want you to make those mistakes, you know, because it's very unfortunate that you could be a great guy that just doesn't have the wisdom and knowledge of what things you're doing wrong. And honestly, we get into our heads about that kind of stuff because, you know, our whole lives is designed, we build up into being the person we are now, right? And we want to believe, we have good self-esteem. We want to believe the person we are right now is absolutely great. But the person you are right now could be great functionally in, you know, a job situation, family situation, a friend situation, but it could go all haywire when you're with women. I also find that, you know, there's this mantra women have of like, oh, I want a guy that's just going to be himself. And dudes get mad at that. And admittedly, I did too for the longest time because I'm like, but I'm being myself and I'm not getting women. But if you really stop to think about how you actually are around your friends versus how you are around women, one, you'll find that you're typically a more genuine version of yourself around your friends. And that's because they have time built in. So you feel like you can be your more natural self. But also, Recognize that women can feel when you're not actually being your fully authentic self. And more importantly, if they find out later that you're not being that person, trust me, they will feel some kind of way about it and let you know and be mad at you for not being your true self. But part of being your true self is also understanding that when you go to different environments, you're a different person. Like, for example, um, I grew up in a family environment where cursing just didn't happen. Like, I had to buy my music, my rap CDs that were all the censored versions because in my mama's house... You did not curse. So to this day, I know that the version of myself that I am around my mom is the version that is not going to curse out of respect for her. Now, if I go to my college friends, curse was thrown all day, you know? So we already get that understanding. Like, and if I go to my job, if I go to a, to a job situation, I got to be more prim and proper than I am when I am just by myself. Even with this show, like with this show, right? This is like, this is a corner of the place that I live at. Like my whole apartment and stuff like that is, does not look like this, you know? But I know coming on here that I'm going to present myself a certain way in order to have you guys trust my authority more and to give, to have the most maximum trust that I can possibly get for you guys listening to my stuff. So we have an understanding of this and yet we feel mad when we got to suddenly, you know, alter how we feel about things or I can't be completely honest or I got to, you know, not tell my feelings when I'm with a girl. Like, yeah, because that's in the beginning of dating. That's how that works. You're putting your best foot forward in order for her to get comfortable with that version of you. Most women understand that that version is not going to be the version they always get, but they still want to know that version exists and that you're going to occasionally go back to that version. So you coming on here and trying to be like, I'm going to be emotional. I'm going to cry and I'm going to do whatever. You can do all those things. Or you could be the guy that like, well, I'm a, I'm a, a, a fast talker and I'm a guy that wants to you know, talk more than a minute or two at a time and I'm going to do that. 
You can do all those things if you want to. You're going to lose women. It just is what it is. So you can actually go to the website. When you go to the to page for the book, you can actually like uh, read samples from the book. And I, I put out like a lot of samples of this book. All right. The, the book is 284 pages. There's probably about 12 to 15 pages of free content you're going to read on that page. If you like that content, then trust me, you're going to enjoy the book. Segments you can read for free at the at this page uh, are reasons one and two that you don't want to contact her between dates. Uh, you can read the section on a secret brain trick that you can use to lessen how much you talk on dates. Because a big problem that women have on dates is that it's not that you're talking so much, it's that you're talking so much about you. And in the process of that, you're not asking about her, which means you're galvanizing the conversation. And I find a lot of guys have this issue because I, I have friends that are, that, that are guys that are long talkers that are going like 10 or 12 minutes and not ask a single question. And so as a guy, you got to curtail that. You got to get that under control. And so in that book, I talk about a secret mind trick that I've used for years to be able to monitor how long I'm talking. So that way this actually feels like a conversation we're having with me and the woman instead of her, her feeling to her like I'm just taking over the entire conversation. You know, uh, another section you can read there is a story that illustrates why maybe dates are always no. Uh, I have a section that's in there about the key to gradually build romance and again, these are all free things you can read right now when you go to the sales page for my Stop Losing Women ebook. You will see all these sections you can read for free right now at that page. Uh, oh, and then the big one is I have a section where I talk about where the hot zones are on a woman's body and how you can stimulate them. This is like, it's a, it's a part, that guide is part of a, the chapter where I talk about like the seven ways to escalate into the bedroom. So number six is how to uh, basically like turn on her hot zones. I go through like a list of 12 of her hot zones and how to turn them on. And that's available for you to read for free right now at the sales page, right? So obviously we have a bunch of chapters in the book that you're going to want to go over. And I, the, the, the sales page stuff, if you go to it, let me see, I show this real quick. Um, you go to this page, you get to see like all the various things that you want to learn about in the course of this book. Like all these things right here are things you're going to learn, right? Uh, but there's also some really cool bonuses that I've added. So in addition to the book, like I said, you're already getting a 284-page book, right? So in addition to all that wonderful knowledge, I've made some extras for you guys because I want you to get as much knowledge as you can to be able to start changing your life today with women. So one of the first ones is called Alpha Unleashed, and it's 10 ways to harness your masculine energy and amplify your sexual chemistry with women. And I put this in here because I've learned recently about the whole dynamic of sexual polarity and about uh, female energy and male energy and how as a guy, you can tap into doing things that are going to project to her that you have masculine energy. And if she's a very feminine woman that's in her feminine energy, it's going to allow you to connect on a much deeper level because you'll be in your masculine She's going to be able to see that and it's going to be, able, it's going to allow her to trust you more and also get really turned on by it. You may be a guy that in the process of trying to be a really, really nice guy, you're not displaying any of that masculine energy that women need to see from you in order to be sexually interested in you. You might have a girl that's like, oh, he makes a great friend. He's a cool guy to hang around, but you're not doing anything that's going to allow her to feel that there'd be some kind of sexual polarity from your end of things. And so I go over the 10 ways that you can start to tap into that and start to show those things so you'll get a better result in the bedroom, okay? That's the first freebie. The second freebie you get with this book is uh, Holiday Dating 101. You know, the holidays are coming up and men have a really hard time being able to meet women during the holidays and not lose them by New Year's. It's, and it's really hard to meet girls like anywhere in November, December, because Holidays are coming up. There's holiday parties. People are traveling left and right. Her schedule's busy. Your schedule's busy. You got office parties coming up. Do you invite them? Do you not? How often should you be trying to go out with them? Is an evening date okay? Or since it's the holiday, should you be doing afternoon dates? All these questions can cause confusion. And so I've included a special bonus report called uh, Holiday Dating 101 Tips for Meeting, Attracting, and Keeping Women's Interest During the Holiday Season. That way, you'll learn the stuff that's in the main book and then you meet some girl around November, you'll also know now, in addition to the knowledge you have about that stuff, how to make sure you keep her around so that way she wants to date you well into the new year. That's the second bonus. The third bonus is a video bonus called First Date Like a Boss. And this video, by the way, is actually in my full Introvert Dating Success Academy, but I'm giving it to you for free. And this is like the complete 
first date blueprint that you're going to need in order to create a memorable first date that's so good she can't help but want to go on future dates with you. We talk about the setup of the date. We talk about the kind of dates you should take her on. We talk about the either six or seven things that you need to be doing during that date in order to build up her interest and then how to end the date in a way that's going to leave her wanting more of your time and attention. All right. So again, that is a free video that we're adding in addition to the first two freebies that I've talked about. Right. And then as if that wasn't enough, right. I also included in three audio bonuses, all right? And these are interviews from my a series called Interview with Dating Experts, which you can also get at the website on, under the products tab. It's like the, the program itself has like over 35 various interviews I've done between my current podcast and the last podcast, right? But this one, you get, when you get this book today, you get these three free interviews. And these are uh, interviews that are dynamic in scope, right? In fact, um, one of them is by, I did an interview with uh, a uh, Antonio Centeno, who is a fashion guru. He talks about the importance of fashion and how you can learn to upgrade your fashion while still being true to yourself, but also in a way that's going to allow you to attract more women. So that's the first interview. The second interview is with Mike McApinlack. He is an expert at uh, social confidence dynamics. And he, in our interview, he goes into, in explicit detail, the seven uh, ways for you to start building up your self-confidence, not just with women, but at large, so you can do better in your dating life, in your job life, all over the place, and you're able to show up anywhere, anytime with the confidence you need to succeed. And then the third interview is with none other than Marnie the Wing Girl, who has also been a dating expert for years on end. She's very highly respected. And we had a conversation going into what are the things that women are looking at when guys are approaching? What is it that they're thinking in their head? What kind of things are turning them off? What kind of things are women thinking when we're walking up to them and trying to say things to them? What are things that women legitimately like fall for when you approach them? And why do they fall for those things? It is an eye-opening interview that that interview alone, I could charge like, hundreds of dollars for, and you're getting it for free when you get this book. So to recap that, all the stuff you get, you get you get the main book, which is no Girl, uh, uh, Stop Losing Women, The Ultimate Guide to Dating the Women of Your Dreams. You get the Alpha Unleashed, which teaches you how to tap into your uh, masculine energy. You get the Holiday Dating 101 book. You also get the video, the free video, First Date Like a Boss, and you get three uh, audios from the interview with the dating expert series. All right. And the price for this book at the moment is like $37. Like that's it. It's 37 bucks. You can go there and get it right now and get all this fantastic information and start learning tonight. You go to get the book. You literally like get taken to a page where it says, Hey, fill in your credit card information and blah, 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 blah. And then next thing you know, boom, books in your hands and all the extras that come with it are in your hands, ready to consume and listen to. I mean, not in your hands because it's, it's all digital. So it's in front of your face. It's all stuff that'll be right in front of your face ready for you to experience, all right? So that's it. That's all I would, That's that's all in terms of like the book stuff. Like, I hope you guys enjoy it because I put a lot of hard work, effort, and energy into this book. It's 17 chapters, 284 pages of rock solid gold, not to mention the added bonuses. Like, you're really going to get a lot of education out of this. And you're going to find that when you, when you read this book, you don't want to read it just one time. You want to go over it and over it so the knowledge can really stick in your head that way you'll be able to go out there and it'll be a natural part of who you are. And I said this in general, when you're doing new dating stuff, you want to practice. When you first start off, you're not going to be great at it. Like you're going to do some, you're going to hear some new stuff and read some new things and you're going to try it out and you're going to present it in a way that's kind of like, Ugh, cause you're kind of like your subconscious thinking, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but the more you do it, you'll become more comfortable with it. The more you read, the more trusting of it you'll be and you'll start to get better and better and better results. All right. So hopefully guys, You'll enjoy the book. Go to the website, introvertdatingsuccess.com. Go to the front page, click on the tab, check out all the things that you're going to learn inside this book. And if it gels with you, then get it. I, I would say uh, there's no money back guarantee on this. So I'm like, look, if you've been watching my shows and you've got consumed any of my content, you can stay, and then you go to the page and you read the free content. If after all that, you can't figure out if you like the book or not, then don't get it. Because honestly, if, if you're a fan of my stuff at this point, you'll like the book. And if, if you're new here, check out some of my stuff on this channel, see if it gels with you. If the stuff on here gels with you, then the stuff you're going to read about in the book will also gel with you. So that's my big sales pitch to you guys, but I hope you enjoy it, all right? You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are go. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value.
are you high class men? You are high class men. You are high class men. You are high earning.